What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about Shonin versus Seinin. Alright, now let's get into it. Alright, so in today's video we're going to be talking about Shonin versus Seinin, but before you guys do, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more anime related type of content, okay? So in today's video we're going to be talking about you know the usual type of genre but i guess these are like the two big differentiators in what type of anime you're going to be watching so let, before we get into like you know the meat and potatoes let's get into what we're kind of talking about so let's talk about the description of shonen okay so i have this i have the descriptions right here so shonen is basically uh, shonen or shonen manga is manga aimed at a young teen male demographic. Um, so this is why you have, you know, the shonen, the big shonen that are like uh, Dragon Ball, Hunter x Hunter, Naruto, those things that are targeted towards like, you know, 16, 18 year olds or, you know, the teen, teenage male demographic basically. And so that's why, you know, most of them have like, you know, maybe some sort of edgy elements or things that appeal to basically the male demographic. And then we also have seinen, which is the the other like second popular genre, which is in manga that are mar marketed toward young adult men, you know, anywhere from like 18 to like around 40, 30 is like the, the, the price or the, the age range for this. And so what are we gonna talk about? And I think that I wanted to talk about which is better. Uh, this is definitely going to be an opinionated you know, type, type of stance, but I want you guys to argue down below which, which do you think is the better genre. And so I, I think that for my case, I think that, you know, there's a lot of popular genres. You know, Shonen has been like the, the powerhouse of this type of, you know, genre war. Uh, Shonen has, you know, it has its own, it has its own franchise, like, you know, Shonen Jump, and then, you know, most of the, the popular manga and anime are, you know, Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball, which are all Shonen, and, you know, Shonen is a, it's, it's a very lighthearted thing, that's because it's, it's marketed towards the young teen male demographic, so Shonen is more of like a lighthearted, you know, power, power creeping, scaling type of character. And the main character is usually somebody that's, you know, is usually morally right. You know, they're they're trying to, they're seen as an innocent or pure, and they're trying to do what's best for them and what's best for their friends. And they're always, you know, trying to protect something that's dear to them. That's kind of why, you know, so many people are attracted to Shonen because of how they portray the characters and what they're trying to tell through the story. Like in Dragon Ball, for instance, Goku is just somebody who wants to get stronger, but he's also, you know, helping his family, his friends. He's also, you know, protecting them to make sure that, you know, you know nothing befalls them. And the reason why I say that Shonen is because once you've, once you dig into anime and manga in general, you kind of get to start seeing this. Shonen kind of has the same, the same few tropes over and over again. So that's why I kind of you know give a little knock to Shonen. But you know, there's so many good series, so many good series like uh, My Hero Academia, Black Clover, and uh, that are still going on strong, even though they have you know the typical Shonen trope. And that's kind of why I kind of like Sanin better. And you know, I guess this is no surprise since I'm I'm 21 and I'm you know the the Sanin is marketed towards 18 and basically up. And the reason why I like Sanin better is because most of the time the main character is not exactly morally correct. The the main character, you know, like guts, you know, that, that guy, that guy has like a few screws loose in his head. You know, that guy is not you know here to tell you that. You know, I'm just here to protect my friends. I'm here to, you know, you know, do what's right. You know, Guts is there to, you know, get revenge, and he's, you know, he's just doing it. He's 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 his own man, and he's going to do uh, carry on in his life how he however he wants to, and you know, his basically his whole goal, his whole dream is to get back on the person that did him wrong, and I think that's why people are so en enraptured by Berserk. Other things about Berserk that are very popular and why people like it, but I just do think that the ideology of guts is why people are so. Um, passionate or like him as a main character is because you know he's doing he's doing him he's doing what he wants to do and he's not letting anybody you know tell him that's wrong or 
you know, stop. He, you know, it, it's kind of he kind of has the reverse effect on people. He kind of has a he kind of has a static character like Goku. You know, his lifestyle is changing the people around him, and he's not gonna let anybody you know alter or mess up that mess up that his idea of how he should live his life. And I think that Shanin is a lot more a lot more realistic because we get to see a lot more of the psychological aspects of you know the main characters. Uh, a very popular saying that I like is Psychopaths. I really love that one. You know, they're basically in a totalitarian, total, totalitarian, total, totalitarian type of government, and it's basically ruled by you know this AI that tells you you know how your psych is doing, and if you go over a certain threshold, you basically they're basically marking you for death. And you know, I think that is pretty cool, you know, to see those type of concepts and, you know, trying to mix them with reality, you know, some sort of psychological reality, you know, investigative type of thing. And, you know, it's it's kind of fun to, you know, theory craft of those things because we're not too, too far away from those type of with Elon Musk's Link and, you know, things like that. It's very, it's very cool to like theory craft about the certain type of situations. And that's why I was so, uh, blown away by psychopath because of AI, you know, controlling the basic, the basic functions of human society. And I just really thought it was a really cool twist and something you don't really see in Shonen. And I feel like Shonen has a lot more potential because it can, it can uh, develop and uh, build on these abstract ideas. And that's kind of the reason why I like Shonen a lot more than Shonen. It's, it's not a, a very like, I'm not dissing Shonen, but Shonen is very repetitive in the ideals of the main characters and the side characters. It's very easy to see what type of trope they fit into. Um, I, I still enjoy Shonen, but I do think that Shonen has a a bigger bigger advantage, you know, because a lot of the characters, like if you just thinking about the top Shonen, Naruto, Hunter x Hunter, uh, Bleach, Dragon Ball, you know, there's very sort of similar characters in these and they all basically have the same goal, right? But in Shaining, it's they're the the most popular ones are very different. You have Attack on Titan, you have Psychopaths, you have Death Note. Um, you, you know, if you just think about those three three uh anime in general or manga they're very have a very different idea and ideologies between them. So it's very, you know, it's very different and distinct from one another. So that's why I think that Shaden has, you know, a, a place in my heart. And that's why I think I like it more than Shonen. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I want to see what you guys think about, you know, is Shonen, you know, uh, as, as stereotypic as I think it is? Or do you guys think that Shonen is kind of the same thing and it has similar tropes? But go ahead and leave it in the comments below and go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you like the video, all right? Peace. See you in the next one. Go.